Lord. Hallelujah. We are welcome to Rapture Daily Devotional this morning. Our text this morning is from Proverbs chapter 7. And uh, we want to express our gratitude to the Lord for bringing us to Jeru Ekiti yesterday for the Jeru Ekiti Ministers Conference, which will begin in this morning at 9 a.m. by God's grace. So let's take our, our daily reading, Proverbs chapter 7. Please, can you read loudly for us? My son, keep my words and lay up my commandment with thee. Keep my commandments and live and my law as the apple of thy eye. He said, keep my commandment and what? And live. And live. Keep my commandment mm -hmm. and live. And live. And live. That means if you are going to live, because it's not everybody that is alive that is living. Mm -mm. Some people are alive, but they are dead. They are not living. Amen. 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 When you are not exhibiting the character of Christ, if you are not your life is not godly. Those who are not living godly life are not really living as God, after God is concerned. Mm. There are so many dead people everywhere. People didn't die the day they, 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 they die as a physical death. Mm -hmm. And that is why you understand Matthew chapter 7. He says that some people are what? He said the road that leads to destruction. He says it's very, very wide. He says many are on it. They are already on their way. That is, they are already dead. Remember, say that he that born with passion, he say is dead while he's still alive. Mm. You understand the context now? Mm. Bible talk about Ephesians chapter two. Talk about what those who are dead in what in trespasses. See you who are dead, but has he quickened? People don't understand. They, 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 when when the Lord told Adam and Eve, Adam that the day you eat that you shall surely die. Adam did not understand. Have you? Mm -mm. Did God feel? Mm -mm. No. He died. But yet he was still moving. And that is why he's telling us, keep my commandment and what? And live. And live. Because you can be walking and be dead. People didn't go to hell the day they died. <laughs> the journey started. I mean, yes, the journey to hell started before you died. You know, one of my books, one of my greatest books, I've written is titled Avoiding the Rose to Hell. I think I came with a few copies to this one. One woman read it. My, my editor that time read it and called me earlier. So the man said, Pastor, how do you, do you write those things you got there? Say, man, it is by revelation. Mm. <laughs> Paul, Galatians chapter 1 says, He said, These things I'm teaching you, no man taught it me. It was Jesus there that taught me by revelation. Mm. A lot of people are dead in trespasses. Even when you are saved by grace, Abby, mm. and you are not keeping God's commandment, you are a dead man. You are a dead woman. You are going to hell. Because you know the Bible says, you remember Romans chapter 1, Romans 3.23, what does it say? Romans, I think 3.23, it says, the wages, the wages of sin is yes. death. Keep my commandment and live. Meaning, if you don't keep my commandment, you are a dead person. Even while you are still walking with your two feet. You remember the letter of, 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 of Jesus to the seven churches of Asia Minor? You remember? The letter to the church of, uh, of Sardis. Mm. You see, you say that you are alive, but you are what? You are dead. But you are dead. So many of us claim to be alive, but as far as heaven is concerned, we are what? We are dead men. And why did we die? And what do we do so that we can be resuscitated? You know what is revival? Revival is when the Lord comes to what? To resuscitate a dead people, a dead church, a dead community. That is revival. It's a resuscitation. And I'm praying that this meeting that is beginning this morning shall be a resuscitation for the ministers that will be attending. Amen. 
and it shall be resuscitation for ourselves who have Amen. come also. Because as we are preaching to others, we ourselves should not be cast away. Hallelujah. Amen. My son, what do you say you should do? Keep my words mm -hmm. and lay up and, mm -hmm. my commandment with thee. Mm -hmm. Keep my commandment and live. And live. And my law as the apple of the eye. Of the eyes. By now, now, now. Some people come and tell you the end. We are in the New Testament. We are in the dispensation of grace. If you don't keep God's commandment again, it's the life of the pit of hell. Revelation 22 tells us that we read from, I think from verse 10 down to verse 12, 13. He says, he says, those who did not, who don't keep God's commandments will not enter into the gates, into, will not enter through the gate into the city. For without our dogs, Womongo sorcerers. He doesn't mention them. Outside are them. Jesus tells us in, in through John, the epistle of John, he says, if you love me, what do you do to me? Keep my, Keep my commandments. May we receive grace this morning to keep God's commandment in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because that is where life comes from. It is those who are keeping God's commandment that are living, that are truly living. Other people are dead men. Don't envy them. Don't envy what is rotten. It's not the day the animal, that they kill animal, the animal will start rotting. I mean, yes, when you sir. kill something, it doesn't start rotting in the same time. It doesn't yes, start sir. smelling the same. It takes time. They're already dead people. They will start rotting very soon. Don't envy what they are doing. They are rotten way of life. They are dead men. Mm. They perfume their body. That is why they are perfuming their body. That's why you pray. Mm. You, the perfume will not stop the rot. May the Lord give us understanding in Jesus' name. Let's mm. continue. Which verse are you now? Three. Okay. Bind them upon thy fingers. What is it that you bind upon the fingers? The word. The word of God. The commandment of the Lord must be bind upon our fingers. Mm -hmm. Write them upon the table of thy heart. What? The commandment. The word of God should be written upon where? Uh, that is to tell you how it's time to tell us how important it is to keep God's commandment. To know to, to treasure God's word. Continue, sir. Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister. Mm. And call understanding thy king's woman, that they may keep thee from the strange woman. Yeah, from Proverbs chapter 5, the instruction has been against strange woman. Has been against what? Sexual immorality. Yesterday we were told in Proverbs chapter 6 that can a man carry fire in his bosom and is not burnt? Mm -mm. Eh? Mm -mm. Can a man walk upon a life coal and his feet is not burnt? Mm -mm. He said, through a worried woman, a, mo a man is reduced to the pieces of bread. Is... He kept warning. Because when you begin to treasure God's word, when you begin to, to value, do you know that in the Ten Commandments, that we used to recite. Do you know that two of them strongly condemn sexual immorality? Thou shalt not commit adultery. Abi? Abi? Yes. Thou shalt not for fornicate, Abi? Yeah. Thou shalt not covet your neighbor's wife. Strong warning. Because those who downplay God's commandment, one of the first sins they fall into is sin of sexual immorality. You understand what the Bible is saying here? Those who downplay God's commandment. And that is why when you look at the church today, what is the, dam the damaging sin in the church today? What is the gateway sin? Sexual the gateway morality. sin is called sexual. It's a gate. I've explained this in some of our teachings. Sexual morality is what? It's a gateway sin. If the devil can break the edge of sexual sanctity, 
Forget it, everything that will be destroyed. It's so cancerous. Sexual immorality is so is so is so cancerous. It's so destructive. It it opened the door to every other sin. When a young man or a young woman, a young girl start committing sexual immorality, you know what it does? It opens door to every other one. Every other sin start coming in. Lies, cheating, dubious ways of making money start and desire you can service that altar. That altar need to be serviced. Extortions, crookedness. Then immoral dressing start coming in. Worldly dressing start coming in. You start looking for makeup. You understand, man? Mm. All manner of things. It comes with a, a, all manner of things. And that is why Proverbs 5 were warned of sexual immorality. Six years they were warned. Today again, seven were warned. And that is why the Bible tells us in Ephesians, you know, in 1 Thessalonica chapter 4 from, uh, from verse 3. He talks about what? About the issue of sanctification. He said, for it is the will of God, even your sanctification, that you should abstain from sexual immorality. Verse 7 says, he said, for you are called to purity. And that is why in, in, in Acts 15, when the council of Jerusalem, you know, this was the issue that two, two things were agreed. He said, let us not put any other burden on these Gentile believers. Mm. He said, but let's tell them that they should abstain from what? From, from sexual, sexual pollution. pollution. And from sacrificing uh, eating to sacrifice to idol. Because they know the weight of sexual immorality. You cannot be involved in sexual immorality and then and then and then and then and then and then live for God. You can't. Mm -hmm. You are a dead man. It is an entrance, it is a gateway sin. Amen. Amen. That is why the church it is what it is today. Pastors are not left out in central pollution. A lot of our young people today, young, 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 young people today. In church are into pornography. It's part of it. They are into pornography. Many is ravaging the church. Pornography is killing our youth. Masturbation is, is ravaging. Because from pornography, masturbation comes in. From pornography, oral sex comes in. From pornography, uh, fornication comes in. From pornography, worldliness comes in. For pornography, the, every other thing, gay, oh my, homosexuality is there, is ravaging the church. Yeah. From, from, from a, for a, for a fornication, abortion comes in. Abi? Abi, is that also? Yes, sir. Everything is decaying. Dead men everywhere. And on Sunday, we gather ourselves together. Dead men clap into a living God. Can the dead worship the living? The people say no. They say the dead cannot worship the living. Dead people don't worship the living God. And that is why our Christianity is not making any impact. Because where do we miss it from? Where do we miss it? We missed it when what? When we abdicated the word of God, the commandment of God. When we set aside God's commandment and begin to listen to what? To perverted messages. Extreme grace preachers. Those who tell that it does not matter the life you live is a, is a lie. The life you live matters. Amen. Amen. Can we read for that this morning? I receive more instructions this morning. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. Say unto wisdom, mm -hmm. Thou art my sister, and call understanding thy king's women, that they may keep thee from the strange woman, mm -hmm. from the stranger which flattered with her works. Mm -hmm. For at the window of my house I look through my casement and beheld among the simple ones. I discern among the youth a young man void of understanding. Hmm. Passing through the streets near her corner, hmm. 
and he went the way to a house. Mm. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night, and behold, there met him a woman with the attire mm. of an harlot. Are you never met her? Who? A woman with what? With the attire. We have refused to acknowledge this fact that there are things that you wear that are what? That are the attire of what? Of a harlot. Abisa, yes, there are clothes that people wear that are, what are they called? In the attire. eyes of God, what are they? Attire they are a attire of a harlot. The Bible says, a man without understanding passed by and what happened? He gets entangled. So those who engage in sexual immorality, those who are seduced by these people with the attire of a attire of harlot, who are they? They are people void of what? Understand. Understanding. And that is why you must give attention to the word of God so that you can get understanding and get wisdom to escape from them. We have refused to acknowledge that there are, there are clothes, dressings, call what? A lot attire. You can it's not every kind of dressing a Christian sister should dress. Some are a lot attire. When you dress them, you call me a lot yourselves. Which verse are you now? Verse 10. Okay. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot mm -hmm. and subtle of heart. Mm -hmm. She is loud and stubborn. Mm -hmm. Her feet abide not in her house. Mm -hmm. Now, is she without, now in the street, and lying in wait at every corner? Mm -hmm. So she caught him and kissed him. And with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offering with me. This day have I paid my vow. Therefore, came and fought to meet. Came, therefore, came I forth to meet thee, diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. I have decked my bed with covering of tapestry, with carved works, with fine linens of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myers, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with loss. For the good man is not at home. He is gone a long journey. He had taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. With a much fierce speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He got after her straight way as an horse god to the slaughter or as a fool to the correction of the stocks. Till at that strike through his liver, as a bed hasting hasting to the snare, and knew not that it is for his life. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children. Mm -hmm. That is instruction. He has given us a scenario of what happened. How the, how how women you know women are expert in seduction. Mm. And that is why you see that women are the ones that are involved in dressing that attracts. Mm. Women don't care. So, and we have been warned this morning that women are experts in what? The she devil uses them to seduce. You must be aware of that. And he said, at every corner of the street, they are there. Mm. Trying to look for people to seduce. It is the devil's handiwork. And that is why you see that women are the ones that dress to attract. Because they have to seduce. And that is why women who have really have fellowship with the Holy Spirit don't dress to attract. They dress to what? To glorify God. Dressing to, uh, to seduce is actually satanic on its own. You don't dress to seduce. You don't dress. They say they dress to kill. You don't dress to kill. You dress to what? You dress to what? To minister godliness. You dress as an epitome of godliness. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please continue. 24. Mm -hmm. 
Hearken not to me now, mm-hmm. therefore, you children, mm-hmm. and attend to the word of my mouth. I hear mm-hmm. Let not thy heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her path, mm-hmm. for she hath cast down many wounded. How many people? Many. Many. Cast, dead, cast down how many? Cast down many wounded. Mm-hmm. Yea, many strong men mm-hmm. have been slain by her. I hear about many people. I have seen people who were anointed before in this my small journey of life. People who were powerfully anointed that were brought down by women. Today they are nowhere in the ministry again. They were wrecked completely. Her house mm-hmm. is the way to hell. I hear about Going down to the chamber of death. Is that the end? That is it. Where do we start from? Where do we start from this morning? Where do the people start from? My son, mm-hmm. keep my ways mm-hmm. and lay up comma- my the commandments commandment with thee. With thee mm-hmm. Keep my commandments mm-hmm. and live. And live. Now, we began with life, Abi, and we ended with what? Death. Deaths. Her house goes down to where? Where does it go? At the chambers of what? The chambers of death. Her house mm-hmm. is the way to hell. To hell. Going down mm-hmm. to the chamber of death. Dead. How do you escape sexual pollution? How do you escape sexual perversion? By, by, live, by, by keeping and living according to the word of death. Store it. Say store it. Bind it upon your upon your finger. Is that what you say? Let it be. Keep it with in your heart. Oh, heart. Giving attention to the word of the Lord. Don't be like many. Bind. Many are already on their way to hell. Mm. Through what? Through her. Through sexual pollution. This is this is in, is 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 in agreement with Matthew. Let's go to Matthew seven from verse thirteen. In agreement with Matthew seven from verse twelve. Exactly what Jesus Christ tells us. Many say many are already many are what many have gone down. She has destroyed many mighty people. Her house leads to where to where and down to the chambers of death. Matthew seven mm-hmm. from verse eleven. We can read from verse twelve or so, eleven. 11. Okay. If you then be evil. Okay. Okay. No. Go to go to go to 12, 13, 12, 13, 13, 12 or 13 is better. Therefore, all things whatsoever you will. That okay. No. Should. 13. Let's read 13 now. Enter ye in the street gate. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For wide is the gate mm-hmm. and broad is the way mm-hmm. that leadeth to destruction. That leadeth to what? destruction. destruction. Mm-hmm. And many there be which go in there. How many are there that go there? Many. many. Okay. Because straight is the gate mm-hmm. and narrow is the way mm-hmm. which leadeth into life mm-hmm. and fill the be that find it. You. Beware of false prophet. It's okay. Why don't you go to 15? Yeah. Amen. 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 Many are already on it. Many. Sir, many pastors are on the way. And it leads to where does it lead to? Hell. Many ministers, many church members, bro, many youths are already there. Are already there. They're on their way. On their way. Some have not started fornication as it were, but they're already doing other things. Mm. Some are already masturbating. Some are already what watching pornography. They are already there. We are not there. Some are already touching their breasts. Mm. You know, Zama. They are already uh, okay romancing. I mean, mm, romancing. they are already romancing. They are on their way to them. They are already hugging. They are already feeling, hugging. Feeling, feeling the heat. Some are already shaking hand and uh, and and, and tickling each other. Mm. They are already on their way. They think that they are alive, Abby. But, but they are not dead. alive. They are what? They are dead people. Why are, why are they dead? Because they are on their way to where? 
the chamber of a house lead to where? What does it? The, the terminal is what? Hell yeah. and death. death. Because you know, hell himself shall be casted into the lake of fire that boils over and brimstone, which is the final death. That is what the Bible calls. When you should understand when the Bible talks about hell and death, people don't understand. You know, hell itself will be will, will be killed. You don't know that. When it shall be cast into the lake of fire that boils over and brimstone, the Bible says that is what the second death. Hmm. Hell will die. So a chamber does not lead to hell alone. It leads to what? Death. To the lake of fire that burn with sulfur and with brimstone. And what do you do to escape her? Keep the word of God. You must keep the word of God. You must treasure the word of God. You must obey the commandment of the Lord. May the Lord give us grace. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That will not be among the multitude who are already in the valley of dry in the, in the valley of dry bones. Many are already there. They are already dead men. May life enter into us this morning. Amen. And everyone hearing this message this morning. I don't know where you are, whether you are among those who have been who are already on their way to hell. You have been seduced and been enticed. And you are taking your way right into the depth of hell. Through sexual pollution and perversion, which is the gate we see. I pray for you this morning that the Lord himself, the mighty God who restored Peter, will restore you in the name of Amen. Jesus. I pray for you that the Spirit of God will enter into you and bring you back to life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. that you be convicted. And whatever it is you are doing, that I've mortified and I've killed you, I've killed you, I've killed you, and, and he's sending you to hell. The Lord will give you grace to come up this morning in the name of Jesus. Mm. The Lord bless you this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, I want to urge you, if you listen to this message this morning, don't forget to also read through Proverbs chapter 7 again, meditatively, read through it, and then apply it to your life and pray, and the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget to like this message. Don't forget to share it and also subscribe to this channel. And the Lord will bless you. I remain your brother Moses or George Chenemy God Special, the coordinator of Rapture Operation Discipleship Ministry. God bless you. We covet your prayer. And the Lord will help you. And the Lord will strengthen you in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, Pastor, can you hand us with the word of prayer this morning? Father, we thank you, Lord, for leading us.